Introducing Jella Stantle Software. This video is designed for new employees, self-paced training, and provides how to manipulate the 3D viewer scanned from Racecan Alpha Plus. By the end of this video, you should be able to navigate the software, utilize tools in the view windows, explore the numbers on the MPR views. Navigating the software. After launching the patient volume from Smart Dent, you will notice the information of the current patient on each MPR views. MPR refers to multiplanar reformatting views. And, the standard window controls on the left side. Some tools provide additional information and secondary panel when drop down arrows are selected. Coronal plane displays cut through the anatomy from an ear to ear. And, separate the anterior from the posterior. The view can be adjusted by moving the control points in either of the other MPR view. Right of that, is sagittal plane. This plane displays a cut through the anatomy from medial to lateral separating the left from the right. The sagittal plane view can be adjusted as previous. Below coronal view, is axial plane. Axial plane cuts through the anatomy parallel to the floor, separating the superior from the inferior. The view can be adjusted as previous. Finally, the 3D view displays a complete three-dimensional perspective. Orientation indicators shows which view of the scene you are looking at. Each letter represents a view. H is view from above, represents head. F represents foot, view from below. L, and R, is left and right view. A, and P, is anterior or posterior view. Utilizing tools in view windows. You have a series of tools on the left side, as well as fine tuning options at the bottom. Simply, click the bottom bar and select load preset. Find race can and choose the preset as your clinical purposes. Often, the MPR views are the more important ones you can actually see the image. The first section is basic view manipulation tool. If you are single left clicking on pan, this allows you to move to the plane wherever you want it to be. Doing a single left click on the 3D rendering view, and rotate the image. Right of that, is zoom. Single left click, zooms in and out. You can switch on to a brightness and contrast option. Where single left click and you can change the brightness and contrast by moving up and down. You can invert the image. So you can make whites to black and blacks to white. The advantage of this option, is if there are some particular anatomy or canals you might not able to see in its normal view. You also have sharpen option if you would like. Text overlay allows to appear and disappear the patient's information. Finally, use lens to see the density at points where you are interested. The next section is measure tools. You have a standard single line measurements, and single left click will start and stop. Also, you can do a multi-line, or tape line. So you can do multiple measurements, and it will give you some total of the line. You can do angles. You have a tool for a profile which allows you to click on the tool, draw a line throughout the image, and it will give you a graph of changes of density throughout that line. So you can see along the line where the depth of grayscale values for that particular areas are. You can do a measurements of area. So if you have an airway that you want to measure an amount of specific airway, it will give you the area and other values. You can go to the region of interest tool, where you can rather than having the areas, you can specifically customize the area. You can put an arrow and node in the image. Below that, you have output options as far as capturing what on the screen. 
and you can update right away on Smart Dent when you click refresh button. Also, you can print out to go to report. And, you can save your manipulations. Right of that, is save surface option. This function enables the volume data which makes up the 3D image to form a mesh data, or often called STL, that can be uprouted to other 3D viewers. The next section is for your MPR views under task section. Whatever you are currently in, is rotating axis or often called orthogonal view. You can go to oblique slicing, which also gives you the ability look at different cross sections you might not able to see in its normal view. You can also reposition the representation of the MPR views. You also have the curve option which is popular, if you are looking to do nerve carnal tracking as well, or want to extract panoramic image from your 3D image. So, click the arrow beside curve, and you can choose the auto arch and look at your axial view and give you the automatic view of 2D cross sectional. Or you can choose to do it yourself. So you can be in the axial view and click the points along the arch. Double click at the end. And, it will give you that panoramic view you are used to seeing. If you are looking to do or placing implants, this might be the ideal location to do that. You can also choose to do 3D zoom. So you can go different views of the 3D software here. And, you can map the nerve carnal here as well. If you're looking to map it, simply click draw and you can move through any of the slices, whether it's in the panoramic or cross-sectional view. When you get to the end at the mental foramen, then double click, and it will put the nerve carnal for you. If you would like to place an implant, you have multiple options here. You can manage implant library, but most of the time, you can insert an implant. You can choose the manufacturer that you are looking for. From the library, you can pick your preference, and most common manufacturers are available. Once you are ready to insert an implant, choose insert, and you can drop an implant where you want. And move the implant, as well as change the angle. You can see the any of the views as well as in the 3D representation. If you would like to share this image, you can go down to Utilities. You have ability to do a report and put different captured screenshots. You can also burn the image, as well as a fully functional viewer from the Jealous software to CD along with this patient's image. The names of persons and the data reflected in this demonstration are fictitious, and are not intended to represent any real individual, event, or condition.
For more information on the functions and usage of Jealous Dental, please consult the user's guide. Thank you for watching how to use Jealous Dental software.